Yeah. And the same thing with the beers. They already know right. with their water. So they're getting it tested now, too, because mm. they're right there. And yep. It's right mm. up to their land. Yeah. And it goes all the way through the 40. Does it? Yeah. It goes all the way through the 40 and yep. then goes past into wow. Rutland's area, too. Oh, really? And it's still streaming. Right. Uh, there's white, silty water, uh, the cream. It's yeah, like it's cream not... going through the right, exactly. water. Yeah. So it's pretty scary. And on the edge, it bubbles white. Right. And not only that, Joe. It's like it's foamy put... white. It's terrible. Yeah, the, the, the ice, I noticed that ice is, it drops down to the edge, too. It's, it's not like regular ice. Right. When ice melts down, it, it, it's all flat. Yeah. Well, this is this ice is just rounded down to a foot. It's about a foot thick. Right, yeah. that's and what I was trying to say. It melts down right down to a lot of the water. So. Oh, so they went all the way back in there. Yeah. Right, I, I believe they did. We don't know how much right. what they covered. It said that they contaminated the neighbor's land, too. And this is Gurky. Right, yep. and it's Gurky's same Yeah, ice. and I did see the, the water was white and the, the uh, white residue on the leaves where it dropped at least a foot. Right. Well, it was actually maybe a foot, foot and a half deep before they I were, got They were shut, out, shut down until last week. They were okay. shut down for Wait, two we? or three weeks, I think. Okay. And then they just what? started up Making again. a video. I don't know. Okay. If DNR wouldn't, sh I heard DNR wouldn't shut them down. That's See? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty so, scary. Yeah. Making a movie. And especially on tribal, tribal, uh, religious grounds. Religious grounds, you know, yeah. They're desecrating it. Yep. And then, and the DNR is letting it happen. So. Yeah, they're all being back up you and know, working at it again. Right. They were in constant. Yeah. It's constant. Why don't I have to go to this and this section over there? Right. I'll go this way or go the other way to go to the car. Because of the trucks. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, I see a lot of heavy truck traffic now. Yep. And, uh, I don't know if they run seven days a week, but I, I see them on the highway now. Getting up to Tony, you see them all over the place. Yep. How much more are they going to dig? And Cause they said they're coming right to the tracks. Yeah, they're coming There's right to the right tracks. Here. Yep. That's a wow. Wow. She got to be quiet. Because they're, they're clearing the woods now. Oh, oh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, I really worry about the water situation. There's like s at least eight homes that are tribally owned, right? Right. Yeah, is there the boys right there? Yeah, that are that are directly okay, linked to this okay. sand mine, and that's what everybody who I've been talking to, the elders and whatnot, across the railroad tracks. You know, I've been talking to Chu and Rachel and a few others, and that's what they're worried about too. You know, what's how is it going to affect us, and then how is it going to affect you know, for our children and the grandchildren, you know, and is it going to be un unusable water in, in time? That's what is the real, going to be the real impact. Yeah, it's, it's major that it's going to affect our religion right now, but in 10, 20 years, we might not even have this because everything's going to be, you know. So decimated. Right. Basically. Yeah, because... Uh, we're here at the Green Deer Homestead, and I'm talking with my sister Vicki and uh, my brother uh, Wallace uh, Haga, and uh, we're actually talking about uh, some of the what we saw out in the woods and uh, the impacts that it, we're having out here. A lot is going on uh, as far as uh, my brother's worried about the water because they're what they're doing is that they're stockpiling sand and uh, they're taking the water out. The water might be a, a permanent thing coming into the woods now. The DNR stopped them for a couple of weeks, but they're back in operation again. Um, we're, we, we are at the Green Deer Homestead where there's a, we have what we call a cook shack where we actually cook the food for hundreds of people. And we're gonna lose these grounds if they keep, uh, uh, they're doing their uh, sand mine situation here. Um, I don't know, what, what do you think, uh, Vicki, about this, uh, uh, about the, the religious grounds? Uh, uh, do you have any other thoughts on that or uh, the impacts that the truck drivers, I know you said you don't like driving on the no, highway, on uh, uh, County Highway and uh, 173 and 21 yeah. because of the trucks. Uh, we have a problem with the truck situation. Mm. Uh, do you have any more on that? 
No, just other than this being religious, because it's going to affect our water. Good? It's you know, it's already starting. Because I know at Rachel's other house, they can't use the water from that house. Okay. But it's yeah, Rachel's house is good, but I don't know about like Liza and those guys because you know I, I know they don't even use their water no more. They don't. Yeah, yeah. See, and I know a lot of the tribe is bringing water in for these other people because of they can't use it to cook and drink and. Yeah, this is the Deer family residence on the other side of railroad tracks from Oz, and uh, they've got a 40 there, and the 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 Gurky mine, sand mine, is right next to the deer property, and it's right alongside railroad tracks. So we're having a, a, a massive issue going on with the water being tainted, or we're losing the water, and a lot of water that's not being uh, able to be used. Uh, we, all got, uh, we all got wells. You well, know? We don't yeah. I guess that what bothers me also is that I live here, you know, and this is my home, this is a Green Deer homestead, and I drink the water, I love the taste of the water, but my wife quit drinking it because she said it changed. I don't know, I guess I don't notice because I guess I don't want to come to the realization that I can't drink my own water. And I'm afraid that someday, really soon, I'm going to have, have to stop. And I've been drinking it my whole life to think that now I won't be able to drink my own water, not just use it for cooking or anything. You know, it's, it's sad, you know, especially, like we say, you know, all our ceremonies are held here. Our clan feast and our medicine lodge ceremonies are held here. And they won't be held here too long, too much longer if it is, stays like it and continues. And... You know, you think about if the sand is holding all the water in and they pull all the sand out, where is it going to go? It's going to continue flowing like it is right now. It's flowing like a river right now and back. And it's, I want to say in back, like, it's probably less than 100 yards from my home. And that's, it's kind of scary because it isn't regular water. It's silty water. It's, you can see the granulars running through the water. All the, everything around it is um, saturated with sand. And how's it going to affect not just, not just me and my home, but, you know, the grandchildren or, you know, and everyone from then on? That's what I worry about more than just myself. And I'll probably continue drinking the water. Same and, here. I mean, you know, but it's, the, the, it, does, it is affecting the elders and their health and... Yeah. Just, yep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm worried about also about the animals. I walked yeah. back there. I didn't see any birds at all through the water. Where I'm usually seeing mallards. I'm usually seeing geese out there in the woods. There's uh, no uh, trails being used by the deer either. So uh, we're we're missing a bunch of animals. There's no squirrels in the trees. They as we came up the ridge from the where the water is. Once we got up on top of the ridge, we started seeing squirrels. And we start seeing uh, a couple birds, but there is hardly anything out there at all. So I'm a little worried about that. Last year, I used to, well, I used to walk the woods, and there was there was no water, no you know, I mean, you know, very little, limited amount of water in that um, our wetlands. But now it's it's completely saturated with the wastewater from the sand mine, and that's that's what's causing concern. I. Contact, contacted some of the tribal legislators and uh, hoping that something will become of it, but I guess only God knows, but that's a scary thing, is that we might say we believe in God and all this, but money sometimes controls more than anything else how our, how our world becomes or what it becomes. So that's what I worry. Is the sand mine going to regulate instead of being regulated. That's, yeah, in the, last, in the last few years we've had, uh, well we've got uh, High Crush just across the highway in 21. We've got uh, three other mines to the south of us. Uh, we've got Uniman Mine that's uh, over by Tunnel City, so we've got a lot of mines coming in. And I believe that this is just going to be the downfall of us with uh, the water and hydrology here.